What's up guys, Sal here. So Google's Pixel 6 series has been available on the market for a few months now. The new phones mark the return of Google to the flagship scene where Google is taking a page from Apple by styling itself as a chip designer with more control over its flagship smartphones. Now, Google is gearing up to launch a trimmed down version of the Pixel 6 following in the footsteps of their relatively successful line of cost-effective Pixel phones. We already know how the Pixel 6 a is supposed to look courtesy of OnLeaks which reveals it looks almost identical to the Pixel 6 Pro. Interestingly, the bezels on the 6a are going to be slimmer than the ones on the regular Pixel 6. Now we have a leak of the retail box of the Pixel 6a that basically confirms the design of the handset. Unlike the Pixel 6, we can see a faint pill-shaped outline around the two cameras in the visor, which is in line with the previous render of the handset. We don't know whether or not the back is made from glass or plastic to keep the cost down, but what we know is the camera specs. It's gonna have the same camera specifications as the Pixel 6 except for the main camera. Instead of 50 megapixel, it's gonna be 12 megapixel sensor we have on the Pixel 5. The Pixel 5 still takes amazing photos, so this shouldn't be a problem. The Pixel 6a will have the same tensor chip we have on the Pixel 6 Pro, so that likely means the Pixel 6a will offer the same tensor-powered features as its flagship counterpart, features like Google Assistant voice typing, live HDR, and on-demand translations. Other information includes a 6.2-inch OLED Full HD Plus display and an under-display fingerprint sensor. The storage will start at 128GB with 6 gigs of RAM. To be honest, the Pixel 6a is gonna be one of the best or maybe the best upper mid-range phone of 2022, provided the price is right. Considering the Pixel 6 retails at $599, it's more than likely we're gonna see a $499 price tag, which is still an amazing value for money prospect. I mean, we don't usually see phones with flagship chipsets in the sub $500 segment, except for the iPhone SE. But the iPhone SE is basically a Prius with a Ferrari engine, so your best bet is the Pixel 6a if you want an overall flagship experience at a budget price. Anyway, John Prosser reveals that Google will officially launch the handset at Google I.O. 2022, which is taking place on May 11th and will be available in stores from July 28th onwards. He also said Google will tease the Pixel Watch at the I.O., but will fully unveil it alongside the Pixel 7 in October. Speaking of the Pixel 7, Ross Young, the display analyst, mentions that the Pixel 7 will see a decrease in size this year. The display will shrink from 6.4 inches to 6.3 inches. The Pixel 7 Pro's display, however, will remain the same at 6.7 inches. Of course, for all the latest updates on the Pixel phones, be sure to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.